tonight is September 20th, 2021, and it's a full moon, so I decided to do a little bit of experimenting and trying to fight off negative, ward off evil influences, things in that nature, because obviously I keep getting attacked magically by evil forces attacking my energy field. Uh, we know who the offender is, Mika. So here's this video for you. Geneva's right here, and Geneva's gonna, she's gonna kick your ass. The Queen Sheba. Geneva. Okay, so we stop there. Okay, so tonight is the full moon, and so we did a little sage clearing to cleanse and purify my crystals. Here is Aqua Aura Quartz for spirituality and the rainbow light and divine light. We got our rainbow hematite for grounding and peaceful intentions, protection. We also have our Aragon with the seven chakras and balancing intent to balance all of your chakras and some energetic field for protection in the wall. And then also we have our onyx for Clear intention. And then we got my synthetic opal, which is like a lustrous kind of. I don't know if you can see. It's like a magic portal for my beauty. And then we also got this right here to ward off the evil eye. Send it back. If anybody has any jealousy or envious intentions, that all solidifies into this eye. Whoever catches this evil against you magically sends back the negativity and the ill, harmful, evil spirit who is trying to poison your mind and try to give you and send you the evil eye and envious surroundings, any jealousies, you turn back to center. So got um, what is it? Keep evil away. Soap. This is for a protection wall. We'll send it back and keep it away and keep it at bay. And then we are gonna do. A red candle and clove 
protection spell. To send back destructive and stop hostile forces. It stops any hostility or any destructive spirits that are trying to attack your magical energetic field. Anybody sending ill will intent will stop it and stop all the gossip and it will burn down to a purification all the way down the candle will release it to the universe stating that they need to stop this destructive and hostile force that we all know what is entailing to my energetic field. I feel there is a evil, malicious spirit attacking me by ill will intent. <coughs> Excuse me. Harmful spirits, evil spirits, anything surrounding negative will burn down in this candle and clove ceremony to stop the hostility and stop the gossip. And then we have something called a had stone, which is a stone found off of the seashores and if you were to find one out in the vast oceans you are particularly lucky to find this it's a uh, stone that are that if you look through the holes of the hag stone it takes you into different dimension reality Realms. And this stone is used for to protect against evil spirits from entering the house and to defeat and to defeat against his more misfortune. Let me say that again. Quote his misfortune is also considered to be extremely lucky for manifestation placed near your home for protection and to protect against witches and evil spirits. Okay, so that's the Hagstone. You cleanse that with sage since tonight is the appropriate night to do a cleansing ritual because it is a full moon so it's appropriate for tonight we're going to do that and so we also got a rune magic i was for defense and the Arisa for gateway so we're going to cast rune magic on this that right there and then also too I also gotta say something about my herbs that I'm gonna burn for this candle ceremony that cloves that is in this candle spell right here this right here is used to drive away hostile or negative influences and you gotta hang a pouch of cloves above your door to stop gossip and brings protection, repels negativity, and prevents gossip. Okay, so we're using that in this ceremony. Cinnamon. Powder cinnamon is used to ward off negative emotions and offers protection during times of discomfort, aiding 
in psychic powers used to for protection for you and the house, my house, can dispel any negative energy that you can carry cinnamon to help protect you against from attacks of a spiritual nature. Okay. And then we also got this right here is called Cascaria is known to protect people from evil powers of Cascaria has two powers to drive away negative energy and then the second power it creates a wall between the natural and spiritual realms and the supernatural to drive away negativity and dispel it out of your life okay so we're going to use that okay we will also be performing some kind of ritual involving a basic egg for cleansing your aura so you drop you use this egg say a prayer to it and you pass it around your whole body from your head to your toes asking the egg to send the negativity in this egg and to break the powers of a spell to help protect and help cleanse your aura and any magical psychic defenses or magical attacks. So that's part of a uh, voodoo common santeria ritual. So after you're done asking the egg to help protect you and then all the egg has absorbed all your negative energy, you break this egg and you break it into the water and then let the cleansing uh, manifest and the details of the egg, uh, how the egg will look like at the end of the ritual and telling you and you have to observe how the the egg yolk and uh, there might be spikes in there if it's they say if it's if you have really good energy the egg should the egg yolk should sink all the way down to the bottom but if you have somebody casting evil against you it will flow either to the middle or to the top and either uh, gray or blackish or some kind of uh, form I don't know how I would explain it, but you would have to see and observe how the yolk, the egg yolk had uh, progressed and you gotta make your own analysis of what has been blocked off and cleansed and uh, it's just the outcome on you have to base on your uh, final results to see what kind of negative energy needs to be casted off and so if you feel like you have to keep doing this two or three times to finally dispel the negative energy off your energy field then you have to do it like two or three times to actually go get a full cleansing of your aura field and then also too we have hex breaker it's an uh, herbal bath that I'm gonna use this to get off this negative energy and erase it from my auric field. You need the evil sent against me, it curses will be broken, so. Okay, but anyway, we gotta get all of these materials gathered and then we gotta perform the candle ceremony before midnight hits here, so. Stop, pause. Okay, so we got all of our gatherings of my candle ceremony, insisting of a red candle. 
and some clothes put together on the full moon ritual candle ceremony with cinnamon for protection and cloves to stop gossip and uh, protect so and then I also got my runes theorize and I was for defense and gateway and my evil I pendant to send it back with my hagstone and cascadia sending back defensive and hostile energy banishing it and sending back the evil eye any intentions jealousy envy negative energies will burn down in this candle ceremony to stop evil forces and the cloves put together this elements all put together to burn all the way down for protecting against evil hexes breaking curses and protecting against evil people with evil intentions and ill will intents sent back in this candle ceremony sent in the universe asking the universe to destroy any hostile energies defensive magic and this candle flame and the smoke for protection and to stop evil jealousy and gossip all of these elements put together for the protection of from evil people <clears throat> okay so bring all of these elements together meditate for a minute all of these elements put together to cast a spell for my protection. May the elements feel the energy and draw my body to protect me and the magic defensives and stop hostile forces. Defense magic send back the evil eye.